The health ministry has reported close to 400 new COVID-19 cases between August 1 and 29. Just two months earlier, active cases in this country had fallen to zero. Head of the laboratory at Celeste Bird Medical Center, Dr. Lester Simon, says data show the Delta variant is driving the increase. The laboratory has sent over 60 samples to the Caribbean Public Health Agency for variant testing between October last year and August 13. But of the 59 that were conclusive, 34 of them, or 58 percent of them, were Delta, and 20 or 34 percent of them were Alpha, with 3 and 2 and 5 percent being respectively Beta and Gamma. So, what does all this mean? In simple language, not only are the four variants of concern here, but Delta has taken over Antigua and Barbuda. Variants of concern are more transmissible and cause more severe disease than the original coronavirus first detected in Wuhan, China. Some strains have also developed new ways of evading the body's antibody response. If you look here, you see where beta is. Beta, and beta is here, is a further remove, furthest remove from Wuhan as far as being able to, 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 um, to be treated. In terms of increased transmissibility, Dr. Simon says Delta produces a lot more viral particles and gets into cells easier than the wild type and other strains. If you had 100 viral particles of the wild type, 10 of them were allowed to enter. For the alpha, 50 of them, 50% were allowed to enter. And for the delta, 75%. The laboratory head says they've sent over 20 more samples to CAFA for variant testing last week. He believes the delta variant will also dominate in those results. Jimmy J. Roche, ABS News.